Hello and welcome to another rainy day in Lisbon vlog. I'm back with my umbrella again. We're going to have a day out. We're going to go to Sintra. So I literally just got off the metro and we're going to go to Rossio Rail Station to get on a train. I'm actually completely confused because I thought we were going to be getting out right by the rail station but I just realised we're actually not at all. But that was definitely Rossio Station and um, it definitely said trains this way. Anyway, that's a lovely fountain, isn't it? But I'm rushing past it because I'm not sure what the time the train is but we're just trying to get there basically and it's raining oh here we are it was only a hop skip and jump away we're all right Whoop. i haven't spoken face to camera yet i will at some point when i get an opportune moment <laughs> crossing the road at the moment and hurrying towards the station okay this is a great opportunity to make a bad situation into something good we just missed the train and the next one is in just under an hour at one minute past one look uh, one minute past the hour at the time i'm filming this which is february 2024 hi i found a friend hi so i said i'd speak to camera at some point today tonight so there was a multi banco machine with an mb on it in the station so i got some cash out because i literally had none after getting my flute service yesterday it cleaned me right out and i was up to my limit on what i could take out yesterday he's photographing me filming myself with this statue with my arm around her, uh, as you do anyway um so this is what we decided to do he's forgotten his water haven't you dear and uh, I said well rather than get expensive water in a cafe why don't we just have a quick walk to Pingodos and just have a little stroll around the area and how lucky the sun's come out hasn't it yeah uh, she is nodding inside she can't actually nod because she's fixed this is her companion and I don't know how he's planning to play the guitar because his hands off um, that's a shame really and it looks like the headstocks come off the guitar as well but this would have been a Portuguese guitar if it had been intact um de diddly di de oh it's all the way to Rossio. we picked up a drink each from Pingo Dose I'm just getting like Pingo Dose's own diet coke I think it was something like 43 cents so it's really half the price of the coke I'm just outside a coin shop and they've got all the olden day Portuguese coins I lived here when we had the school douche I remember those that was before it went over to the euro you see wow they're huge I never saw those that's how big those are they're absolutely huge oh yeah that is a bit sobering isn't it look tsunami hazard zone evacuation route 250 meters I've never seen that before my boyfriend just spotted it and pointed it out this is me not filming in Pingo Dos look this is a, I'll come back in for these look same gluten they are only 179 because they're on offer found from 198 I'll put the sterling on the screen as it is today look that looks nice can't decide which to get just gonna pick these up and take them in the bag for a picnic right take two I think we've got about 15 minutes, so hopefully we won't be missing it this time. Oh yeah, there's a glass walkway if we remember rightly. <laughs> One. Oh, look at these big ones. I think I might give the stairs a miss. I wouldn't enjoy that if these weren't working. Sintra, line three. I don't know how much the waters are here, but I bet they're cheaper than what we just paid in Pingodos because we bought some waters in there before as well. I didn't film up. Let's put 60 in and see what it's at. 60, 120, 1 euro 20. I think we might have paid something, I don't know, like 40 or 50 cents. Just passing the time showing you the surroundings while we're the raft tops his zapping cards up. So use the same zapping card that you do on the normal trains, the normal metros, trams, everything. Oh, there's the walkway. There's the ticket office there if you want to go to a human. Ooh, IB's not going to like this one. IB stands for Invisible Boyfriend, in case you're new. So this is Rossio Main Line train station. It's quite grand, isn't it? Great big high roof. You can see the buffers there at the end. Is this line three? Yeah, this is line three. So this is our train. I don't think there's toilets on here. Getting our steps up, look, walking down the platform. Look how shiny it is. I remember before panicking when I heard the doors closing because I thought the train was about to leave. Because in the UK, it only does that when the train's about to leave. But here, they just shut after a while. Look, there's a step up to get into it. It's not flush. Big area here, suitable for wheelchairs, prams, you know, push chairs, bikes, etc. Looks like you can get from carriage to carriage through those doors there. And the seats are sort of facing each other. So here we are for a little while, for the next 10 minutes or so, just waiting for the train to leave. 
and we're off as you can see and do you know what this train is really filled up we went quite a long way down the platform and yet it is still quite busy on here well what feels like some minutes later we're still in a really dark tunnel i was expecting to come bursting out into brilliant sunshine but we're still in this tunnel there's the aqueduct like we've come out bursting out that was nearly five minutes of tunnel at the start of that journey i was very surprised actually are we coming to our first station already we are which one is this then? Campbell Lead. Whoa. It's on the line, look. Oh yeah, very grand and majestic looking. I love all the bigness of the big cities, you know. We're about 20 minutes into the 40 minute journey now and I've just realised something. Look, I've got my top on back to front. <laughs> We're here. Well, in film getting off, I was incapacitated temporarily because after having a feast of crisps, because I had a bit of an insubstantial breakfast of just fruit, yogurt, and nuts. Well, my other half decided after the crisps that he would open the bag of M&Ms, and so all of a sudden we were at the station and I had a fistful of these things. I was trying to shove them in my mouth, and then I looked like a hamster. Is it a hamster that has cheeks full of things? Mm, I was like that and couldn't vlog. Anyway. We're here. Everybody else is going that way. And so are we now, once we get ourselves organised. It's a little bit chilly. It's always a bit colder in Sintra, in my opinion and personal experience. And it is said to have its own little microclimate. So if you're here in the heat of the summer and you want to go somewhere a bit cooler and a bit moister and a bit cloudier, it's the place to go. And it tends to be very lush and verdant. And I think it's because of the climate that it has. It's a bit more, I don't used to remind me of the UK uh, countryside a bit more like when I lived here for a year and it, everything got all very dry and dusty in August I'd come to Sintra for a bit of a different climate anyway I've got an eyelash in my eye now so I'm making funny faces at you I need to sort that out I'm ready I've put my sun hat on very ambitiously <laughs> I think I might be swapping it for an umbrella pretty soon the stop before last was called something similar to Sintra I think it was called Portela de Sintra and we were thinking, is this it? Is this it? Uh, but it wasn't, so it's the one before. So if you have that experience, don't panic. It's definitely just called Sintra. Oh, that's stunning, that, isn't it? Shall I put you in charge of navigation, or do you want me to do it? Yeah, let me look, because we might end up going down there. I'd rather he does it, because then, see, I'm trying to film and navigate at the same time. I haven't got enough hands. He's navigated, it's 19 minutes walk from here. Now we've been to Sintra a number of times. I've, I've vlogged in Sintra a few times, so I'll, I'll make a playlist of Sintra vlogs and I'll link that in the description for you in case you want to see some more different um, aspects of it. But today we want to go to a place called Quinta de Rigueira, which I keep seeing in people's vlogs and seeing photos online and it looks quite breathtaking and extraordinary. So we're heading there. There is an entrance fee. I think it's 12.50 to get in. My hat's going to blow off now. Ooh. Oh, what? Ooh, it's chilly. Ooh. There's something coming to run me over as well. Not helpful. <laughs> now that is absolutely stunning. Look at that view there. But I tell you what else also um, <coughs> occurring to make sure I brought an extra jumper because I am cold. I forgot about the microclimate thing. Oh. That little there that's the castle it's not little actually in real life it's just far away i've vlogged there in the past that'll be in the playlist look at this view what the heck it's otherworldly honestly oh, we've got little orange trees growing down there look that's like an alien plant <laughs> except it's not in portugal it's really normal but that's an alien plant for me we've just been very kindly given directions by somebody was it tuk -tuk -ona? yeah tuk -tuk -ona. Fair play, because we weren't being customers, but here we are. He did offer us a, a ride. We were like, no, no, we want to walk. But thank you for the offer. I think I might be walking in a drainage dip thingy. It's another one of those not for the faint-hearted routes. Well, look at it. Steps, feeling the burn on the thighs already. Up and up and up. It's very nice, though. I mean, well, some of it isn't. Some of it is not nice. And graffiti is probably not, but that's nice. Right, I'm rambling now. Shut up, Emma. Yeah, don't copy our route. That was horrendous. That was a very, very, very long flight of steps and steepest at the last bit. But anyway, that's beautiful, isn't it? I think we could have taken an alternative route. got some vlog lag going on here because host stopped to film a fountain for ages. My boyfriend's just kept going. 
but I found something scenic. Just been waiting for people to get out of the way they're doing Instagram things, I think. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's absolutely lush. Yeah, I'm getting wet right now, but I think it's actually because it's raining. <laughs> Yeah, it's raining. I've been to Sintra a lot, but I haven't been to this bit before. Or if I have, it was dark. Might have come in the dark and not seen that. Oh, a man dancing. Just AirPods. Oh, it's a Walkman. Because that one. He's busking, I see. Never seen that before. <laughs> the earphones with the backing track. Good grief. That is exquisite. Lost the boyfriend though, I don't know where he is. So we have climbed a a lot and we are still climbing, but we're almost at the entrance now. We've been seeing bits and bobs of it through gates and things. And it's stunning. So I'm quite excited to get in. If you're not the climbing hill sort of person, you just want an easy life, you know, there's loads of tuk-tuks and transport options. They meet you at the station and they try immediately, hey, tuk-tuk anyone. So you don't have to climb the hills unless you want to. You feel like, you know, need a bit of fitness. <sighs> we're going in there, we're going in there. Look, can you see why I wanted to come? I was like, well, that looks really cool. So this is February 2024. I'm just going to do a quick rundown of the prices. I'll be quick because I don't want to hold people up that are here. There you are, you can pause and read that. Come on, look at it. Look at it. Oh, I'm in the queue and I'm already having cuteness overload. Look at the little goatee. Even Ivy's taken a photo of a sheep one back there. So I've just come into this initial bit and there's actually got lockers available there. So that's handy if you don't want to carry your stuff around. But look, it's like some kind of oldie worldie washroom. Look, they've got these basins. How can you drain that away? You can't. That's very mysterious. But I had a little chuckle at the last one. I'll show you why. So but more of these. Look at that ladder though. Look how steep that is. <laughs> Can you imagine? Right, look at the last one. Ta -da! <laughs> it's a multi pack but it has the MB signs and we're all good. Look at the steepness of that ladder. Would you fancy going up there with that really low <laughs> thingy? Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. My bee's waiting for me. Well we're in and I've diverted off because I'm following a sign to the loo. I've left me other half wandering up the hill. Cool. Blinking heck, it's absolutely magnificent. What a spectacle. Good grief, and such a view. We're really high up. I don't suppose you can see right in the distance and in the haze of the distance. We've got all the houses down there. Oh, maybe it's down there. There's a cafe down there, look. That was an immense queue. I was absolutely ages. I just texted Ivy and said, just go and enjoy yourself and maybe it will. Anyway, I just wanted to say a big thank you to Kirsty. Kirsty made a donation to the channel via PayPal. And I want to say a big thank you. And today has been brought to you by Kirsty because it's funded today's adventure. We are about to go up there. Look at that, it's like a little fairy tale tower. I'm going up, I'm just wondering if anyone's going to come down. <laughs> Ooh, this is fun. This reminds me of like adventure playgrounds for adults, and I said that in the castle as well, so I am repeating myself. Oh, it's busy. I think people want to come down. <laughs> um, congestion. We're stuck. If I slide in there, it's like a sliding puzzle. <laughs> I'm just going here a minute. <laughs> Those, that huge queue of people can go downstairs. Okay, I'm continuing my ascent up the very, very steep steps. Wow, so as they overhang, so like you catch your toes on them, you have to be really careful when you're lifting your foot back up. Oh, do you get treated with a very spectacular view at the top though? Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that got a bit congested at the top there. Um, look, I just wanted to show you these plants. Because I haven't seen the like of them before. They're extraordinary looking. We can actually see from here, right there, right at the top of the hill, the Moorish Castle, the Castelo dos Mouros. I have vlogged there in the past, so I'll leave that in the description. A lot of climbing and steps involved with that one, but it's really quite an exciting, fun thing to do, to go and explore that on foot. You can walk up there if you want to, or you can get a tuk-tuk or any of the other little vehicles that are for hire. They Obviously, they come with drivers. You don't have to drive them. <laughs> Trying to catch up with the other half. Look at these. I did consider that I was coming for a day sort of about architecture, really, but it has some, some pretty interesting plant life and we're only just at the very beginning of it really oh what a surprise more steps how can you go in if that's the exit there must be an inn i'm gonna go in a cave oh there's no point in filming in here is there it's gonna be too dark oh it's blocked well actually it's not blocked it's just what is it then it's just a solid stone <laughs> oh well what's here no that's just a out of the well 
Ah, oh, okay, that's an exit for something else. He's saying it's out of the well, not out of that cave. <laughs> Look at the way it's all um, corroded, eroded. Which one? It looks like skulls almost, doesn't it? Formation's absolutely amazing. So I couldn't help asking the guide, was that like chemical corrosion on those rocks or was it some kind of physical erosion? And he said, no, it came from the sea. So all that was done in the sea. And what an effort it must have been to lug it all the way up here. I just thought they were using local materials. <laughs> we're over a massive well. It's not the main one. It's like a subsidiary one. Oh yeah, it's definitely not like the one in the picture. Even I'd be taking photos. Oh my gosh, look at that. I just said that in a really more exaggerated tone of voice. And I was saying to Ivy, that's actually me just telling you. That's not me vlogging and then I've done it more subdued. Oh, the dragons, I'm gonna have to have a closer look. The thing is, wherever you go, everyone's taking photos of their loved ones and you're in the way. Oh, look. Oh, he's so cool. It looks like something off a modern day kids show, you know. Oh, you can get in. Let's see what's inside. <gasps> Not a lot. It would have been water though at one point. Maybe there will be again. It's nice and clean. What's that over there? Just wherever you look, there are curiosities, you know. <laughs> Lots of things to climb. We're going up. Look how high up we are. That's amazing. Right. Oh, somebody's coming down. You have to sort of negotiate. <laughs> There's never enough room for everybody. <laughs> it's got a big grin on his face. Right. Oh, look at this. <laughs> That's where we just were. We just went in that bit there where the dragons were. It was very narrow. A sword? No, I'd be going clunk, clunk, crash, clunk at every step and cursing probably, finding it very awkward. Ivy's not loving this part. You didn't have to come up, he's, he's been a supportive boyfriend. He muttered something about, well, I've terrified myself once today, that was enough. Um, but he's doing it anyway, he's being flattened for punishment. What's around here? A tiny enclosed space. No, you don't need to come in here. Yeah, it's just the understairs cloak cupboard, I think, from olden days. I'm reversing. There's no room to actually turn around with a bag, a backpack. <laughs> there he goes. Knees are trembling. Yeah. Are you getting a bit twitchy? Ooh, look at that down there. That looks really spectacular. I pointed the camera in the right place. I don't know, I've got the sun in my eyes now. So mossy and greeny. We've come to see the most famous bit, the well. And there's a massive, massive queue. So I think we might have those cakes. I think it's massive. And um, he'll just correct me when I'm vlogging. No, it's not. No, it isn't. It's a small one. It's a small queue. Anyway, a um, hundred people. Right. Now this clip's gone really long. <laughs> Time for cakeage. I've just ripped the packet apart with my teeth while I'm holding the camera. Um, but anyway, right, there you go, as yours. <laughs> we'll have a little nibble and we'll see what they're like with no wheat. Sorry, I really cannot film this very easily at the moment. There it is. Do will move at that moment, look. It's not bad at all. I've had a lot worse. That was quite pleasant. Mine's got something. It's got corn flour in it and um, potato flour. I think I mentioned that earlier. Well, we've entered and I've got a feeling there's so many people here that we're just going to be in a conveyor and not in control of the speed that we go through, you know. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Oh, we've got to keep going. I don't want to hold the queue up. But wow, though, look at that. The lady's saying, continue as fast for to keep walking. So we are, but wow, it's magnificent. Absolutely astonishing. That's quite amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I can see people's like heads poking out of the bottom. <laughs> I'd be doing that in a minute. I want to get down there and be like, oh, I want to film up now. Dummy recesses. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're all right there. I wonder what they used to be for. Oh, we're not holding anybody up at the moment. We can linger a moment. Yeah, they're like, I don't know, like the things in train tunnels where you have to get out of the way when there's a train coming if you're a worker. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they're just decorative because, you know, it is very decorative. Let's face it, it's the not most functional well. And closer to the bottom now, look. Water's literally running down this bit, do you see it? Holding on my hand there. Feels very refreshing actually and cool. Well, I nearly got to the bottom. You want waterproof shoes, I think, for this. I think if I'd have worn my Converse's or something, my pretend Converse's, I'd have been a bit like, oh no, and got them all wet and then like have wet feet for the rest of the day. Oh, look. We're in a cool cavey bit now with lighting down the bottom, so it's kind of 
A bit exciting and mysterious. Water's all dripping off the roof here as well. I just posed for a photo from the other half and um, held my arms up in the air, as I do, because I'm an extrovert, and water was all running down and off the ceiling. We came to a fork, and I took the most un-IB friendly fork possible. It's getting lower and narrower. I know where this is. We filmed from the top before. We're coming to an outdoor bit here. <laughs> My review of this day out is even if you get a tuk-tuk or something to this castle, you need to be relatively fit because it's very, very strenuous because there are lots of very, very steep steps and it's not flat. <laughs> like, it's very pretty. It's very scenic. It's very green. It's very interesting. But there's a lot to climb in. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're ridiculously high up by this point. I climbed and climbed and climbed without the camera on for a bit. And um, I'm at this most lovely path just along what I think must be the boundary wall right at the top. And I would show you the scenery, but I can't. But if I could, you'd see how far things are away down below. OK, it's foodie time. So we've stopped in the cafe, which is in here. You know, it's part of the thing. And I'm just skirting around the other half to show you the view. This is what I'm seeing from my seat. Look at that. That's amazing. We haven't been in there yet. So when we've been fortified with a bit of food and coffee, we're going to go in and have a look. And I think that's probably the last thing we'll do before we go home. Oh, me. Put me some bang. Greedy pig. What? I'm not a greedy pig. Oh, I've got breadsticks. Look, this is my soup with the deer, right? There wasn't, well, I wasn't that appealed by the vegetarian menu, so I've gone for a spinach pastry and a soup of the day, which also comes with these breadsticks. <laughs> and there's my coffee, which I was about to film, and then the lady came. I keep seeing things. I'm like, oh, can we look in there? So let's look in there. Maybe that's the chapel. I think that's the chapel. We watched a film. I didn't tell you about the film. Believe it or not, I'm actually trying not to film too much today. Not succeeding. But we did go and watch a, a little bit of a film about the place didn't tell that much information I didn't think but anyway it did mention this church where a funeral took place actually it was pretty fine carving as Ivy has just said off camera it is it's beautiful isn't it there we go it's very little but it's very very ornate is that a mosaic I think that might be a mosaic there oh it's so pretty isn't it goodness gracious me I'm happy to go and stick my head in that thing if you want yeah let's go and stick our head in that thing oh look 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 there's just so much more. There's a lot to see. We've been here ages. Yeah, I think, is it a swan? I think so. Or is it that thing that pecks its rest and gives its chicks its blood or something? A pelican. It's the palace, apparently. Yeah, fractal-like. Not allowed to film. Oh, well, I've filmed too much anyway. Let's just film the entrance. Oh my goodness gracious me, the entrance is just phenomenal. What the heck? We've walked back to the station and there isn't a train to Rossiu where we got on, but there is one to Orient. So we've looked at the stops and some of them correspond with lines of the metro. So we're going to get that one and we're going to change at Set Rioche, which corresponds with the Lisbon Zoo stop on one of the lines, the metro line. So anyway, we're going to go in. We're feeling tired and weary and cold now, aren't we? We could do with a sit down in the warm now. <laughs> This is next day me now. I was like, oh my gosh, I've filmed so much today. I need to just stop filming. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Here's a playlist of all my Lisbon vlogs in case you've missed any and you'd like to go back and watch the ones you missed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.